you got a theme for the wedding? I have got a theme for the wedding, yeah. Um, I'm looking to do like a rock festival wedding. Okay. Oh, right. oh. So yeah, I don't I know. could have just the dress. Then. <laughs> right. It's called rock and roll. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> no. And those are the magic words. This is the rock and roll dress. Hmm. Yeah, that, that looks wicked. Today, the bride to be and bridesmaid Rainer are in Cardiff on the hunt for Becca's dream wedding dress. It's an emotional moment for Becca, whose mother passed away five years ago. My mum and dad were still together when my mum died. Uh, they had a very happy marriage. They were together since they were 17, and you know they loved each other very, very much. So I wouldn't want to settle for anything less than what my mum and dad had. Hiya. Hiya. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Let me show you some dresses then. Becca wants an elegant breakfast at Tiffany's wedding with a Holly Go Lightly dress to match. Think about that one then. No. No? No. Not too much skirt and too much detail and too much bows. Mm, no, don't like that one. What I had in mind was sort of like um, just really classy and chic. Okay. And sophisticated. The boys are in Swansea and Howell's on a mission to prove that he can pick the dress of Becca's dreams. Things are moving fast and furiously now into the third day of things. Looking sharp is my forte, let's put it that way. <laughs> it's all down to you, Howell. It is, it's all on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Got a theme for the wedding? I have got a theme for the wedding, yeah. Um, I'm looking to do like a rock festival wedding. Okay. Oh, right. oh. So, yeah, I don't I know. could have just the dress. <laughs> right. It's called rock and roll. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> no. And those are the magic words. This is the rock and roll dress. Mm. Yeah, that, that looks wicked. We've got some more Ian Stewart hands here. That's quite a dress. I don't care that. I don't want like glitz and glamour and all of that. She'd, it'd be like, yeah. No, she'd be like the marshmallow man on um, <laughs> the run, what's it called, <laughs> Ghostbusters film with that one. And the marshmallow look isn't one his five foot nothing bride can get away with. How does it make you feel? Is it not you? I don't or? really know. I don't Look think at me. it Turn is. Me. This is everything I thought I wanted for the wedding. But now I've got it on. It's just not me. <gasps> oh, that looks beautiful on you. It's weird, isn't it? I'm really worried about how I'll choose in my dress now because I thought I knew what would look good on me and I've tried it on and they don't look good at all. Becca's trying to channel her inner Audrey Hepburn. Do you feel comfortable in something so fitted, Beck? No? I just don't think I feel comfortable in a wedding dress. Oh, no, this... I love. Mm. This is the rock and roll one now. Yeah, it's, it's wicked. It's absolutely beautiful dress. It's only rock and roll. I like it. <laughs> okay, this is the third dress now. And as good as it is, it's not rock and roll. No. Do you know what I mean? Blinded by his rock festival theme, Howell's refusing to consider any alternatives. I think the gown for my girl is rock and roll. Absolutely. So let's rock and roll. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And if you can give me a rock bottom price, including the hair, the flower, the dress, mm -hmm. and the shoes, yeah, we could be in business. I could probably do, you see, um, a 50% deal on that. Is that a deal? Deal. Just shake them out. Champagne, darling, everybody, darling. This is the It's an impulsive move from the indie rocker. Howell spent £700 on the first dress he saw on the basis of its name. It might be rock and roll, but will she like it? <laughs>